Hi guys, welcome. We are on session four of the script writing class. My name is Marion, and here we go. This time we're going to talk about adaptations, um, which means you're making a script based on a story or a book. Now here's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, you make sure you have permission or you make sure that the book is in or the story is in public domain. Permission means you've got a, uh, a book that has a copyright on it and it's still in force and so you have to ask permission from the author to get that, to be able to write it, to adapt it. And then the other one is public domain works. Those are works that are super old, like fairy tales, fables, folk tales, Tall tales, those things are old enough that you can just uh, adapt them. Treasure Island is old enough that I was able to adapt that. I'm trying to think what else I've adapted. Um, so really and truly, I've adapted a lot, but mainly they've been folk tales, fairy tales, um, that kind of thing. And so, yeah, I can adapt them. I have to be careful about adapting something that might be in a book. For instance... I read um, several versions of Paul Bunyan just so that I could remember some of the things that he did. But then I read another picture book about Paul Bunyan from, and the illustrator was uh, Stephen Kellogg. And so as I'm looking at that book, I realized that uh, one part in there would have been great in the play but the problem is, is that the, I'm pretty sure that's the only place I'd seen that. And so I was thinking, okay, maybe the author added that, which means I can't use it. Okay? So, make sure it's open for you to do it if you're going to adapt something. Now, I have to show you, I adapted this book um, into... It was a it was a full length play, and this man, Michael McLean, the author, is also a composer. He writes music and composes it, and so it was really cool because he had had music inside the book itself, right? And so I thought, you know what, I need to do this one. It was just one of those things that I felt very strongly about. And maybe, maybe, maybe I could get a hold of him and find out about uh, actually um, adapting it. And he let me. Um, it was a little bit of, a, of work uh, to find him. I ended up Googling him and then uh, sending like three or four different letters through like his website, through Facebook page, through I don't remember. Just, I, and then he contacted me. And so we were able to work together, and, and it was so cool. Because he even came to the show when it was done. He was able to talk to my cast, which was younger kids all the way up to teens, all the way up to adults. And so it was really neat that he could do that. All right, then another one that I did many years ago is I had a nursery rhyme brigade. And I found this book. And really wanted to use a couple of the poems out of it. But again, this isn't just any mother goose. Someone wrote this. And on the inside, there was the information about the publisher. And so I sent it off to uh, the publisher saying, is it possible? And they said yes. Actually, I think it was actually um, the writer. Uh, and so I was able to perform it for that one performance. You know, I can't just do it forever and ever. So that was way cool. Now, the trick of adapting is you end up with longer works that you need to put into shorter stories. Or vice versa that, where you have shorter stories that you need to put into longer stories. I have uh, usually made... Um, made the plays to be about 45 minutes and longer things like uh, fairy tales fairy tales can get kind of long 
Plus, they've got all of these days, and oh, this happened, and then this happened, and the next year, and the next day. And so when I'm doing longer works like that, I try to think in terms of how can I make this fit in my 45 minutes? What am I going to have to cut out? What am I going to have to kind of massage into being? For instance, my husband and I um, have done the play Puss in Boots about a very clever cat. And the, um, the book has it over several days or weeks or whatever it was. And I thought, oh, okay, this is 45 minutes. I can't have it stretch way out. Rather than have a narrator, and we talked about that l the last time, try not to have a narrator. Rather than have a narrator, we would go off stage, wait a putt second, and then come in again so that it felt like something just changed. Sometimes it was just a matter of uh, putting an, another set piece out. Okay, now it's the king over here and put some boots, the king's chair and put some boots going out and getting a pheasant or fish or whatever to take to the king. And so that's how we got around the whole day-night thing. Okay, uh, and then we also had to get it down to 45 minutes. And so, got it, you know, we did it. Then you've got shorter plays, or shorter stories, such as fables. For instance, in The Tortoise and the Hare, there's the tortoise, and there's the hare. And the hare is boasting, and the tortoise challenge, challenges him to a race, and the hare say, agrees, and the tortoise starts running in a super slow and behind the hair and the hair finally thinks he's just fine and he lays down and takes a nap while he's napping the tortoise passes him and uh, wins the end okay now I've got to make that story into something that's 45 minutes plus because this is this was an interactive show I need to to write the play so that there were more characters in it so that we could pull kids from the audience to be part of our play. And with Tortoise and the Hare, we decided, well, maybe Hare is bothering all the animals in the forest with all of his bragging ways. And um, so we ended up with a beaver that a child could play, and we ended up with the bluebird, and we ended up with a squirrel, and we ended up with a raccoon, and each time Tortoise goes and interacts with them kind of rudely and bragging, and then Tortoise goes in and interacts with the other animals nicely and slowly because Tortoise is a little slow, but that's how we ended up being able to have a uh, a longer story down to 45 minutes and a shorter story up to 45 minutes. And if you're adapting something like a nursery rhyme, you might have to, well, obviously that's short. Let me think. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So I would have to think in terms of, all right, I need a 30-minute show, 45-minute show. How am I going to do this? The outlining helps so that I know who and what and how I can do that um, to extend that out. And maybe Humpty Dumpty is, um, is getting up on that wall. Well, why? Why is he getting up on the wall? And so I may have to take it back a little bit. And then what happens once he's on the wall? And can I twist it around and make it fun so that maybe he doesn't fall down and break into a bazillion pieces? All right. Anyway, lots of fun with making shorter stuff into longer stuff, making longer stuff shorter. And then, um, you know, I talk about these things that are public domain, such as the fairy tales, folk tales, fables, nursery rhymes. And you think, oh, but that's been done before. Uh, how many... Uh, uh, Little Red Riding Hoods, have you heard? How many Jack and the Beanstalk have you heard? Well, I've done a Jack and the Beanstalk, and I've done uh, other things, other fairy tales, Princess on a Pea, Puss in Boots, uh, a couple of others, and yes, some of these have been done over and over and over again, but let me show you something.
Long ago, the ancient Greeks would have their plays for everybody to come and watch. And it was the same thing over and over again. And they'd come anyway. And the reason is, is because it wasn't the exact same thing over and over again. For instance, let's see what I got here. Cinderella, different from Cinderella. Different from this Cinderella story. One of my favorites, because it's a musical. Love it. It's still different from uh, another take of this that was the Cinderella story, and it was the musical. Love these. And Ella Enchanted. The book and the movie are very different, and I love the book, but I also have the movie. And then there's just Ella. A little bit different and a little bit not quite so sweet. Okay, fun stuff there. And then I found this one one year, and it is it is Cinder, and it's science fiction. I loved it. Oh, 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 and this author, she also continued in this series. This is the Lunar Chronicle series. Look at this. She adapted Cinder. Then she has Scarlet. What's that look like? A red cape? So, yeah, we're talking a little Red Riding Hood. And then we have, what else? I can't see it. Uh, Cress. Long hair. And then we, and I think she's on the moon. Don't remember. Space Station, maybe? And then this one is Fairest. Did I remember reading Fairest? Can't remember. I'm sure I did because I do remember re reading Winter, which is Snow White. Okay? So, no, no, no. Sleeping Beauty. Sorry. Sleeping Beauty, who eats the poisoned apple. So, all science fiction. Love them. All right. How many times can you do Cinderella? Well, as many times as your imagination will allow you. So, do not worry about, oh, it's been done before. Come up with a new way to do it. We talked about genres in one of the earlier, um, earlier sessions, right? Yes. So... Adapt a story or a nursery rhyme. If you're going to make it longer, then um, maybe you just want to get a little bit going, several pages worth maybe or whatever. If you want to finish it, by all means, go finish it. But go ahead and if you want, rehearse it. And if it's longer, don't rehearse the whole thing, just some of it. And record it and post it. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And remember, keep it public domain. Most books, these and that one, you know, are, are not something that you can um, adapt without permission. Okay? If it's something, if it's an older book, a classic, Treasure Island is a classic, you can even Google that. What books are in public domain? And I think I've even done that and listed them, you know, made myself a list just in case I wanted to, um, wanted to, to adapt one of them. So, like I said, go write, have fun. Now it's your turn. I'm not going to give you any words or anything. You got to go look up a story that you like and love and uh, a nursery rhyme, a fairy tale, a fable, and see what you come up with. Have fun.